Hey there, awesome person, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and inside this video we are going to take a quick look at camera profiles inside of Lightroom, what they are, why you should use them, and what they can do with your editing. Are you ready? Let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to make this short and sweet. What are camera profiles? Well, essentially, they're different algorithms that your camera or Lightroom use to determine how the colors in your image are represented on the final screen. So basically, it harkens back to film days when you used to actually take a photo with your camera on a different film stock, depending on the kind of final look that you had in mind for your image. So some films might have more contrast, some ha might have more saturation. So you would select a different film stock depending on what characteristics you wanted to bring out in your final image. Now camera manufacturers, when they switched to digital, pretty much did the same thing with their camera settings. You could actually select different styles to emulate different looks. So in Canon, you have something in the menu called Picture Style. On Nikon, it's Picture Control. Sony has Creative Styles. They all have slightly different names, but essentially they're all camera profiles. Adobe inside of Lightroom has the exact same feature, and it's up here in the Develop module. You click here at the top, and you can see that we have Adobe Color, Landscape, Portrait, Standard, and Vivid. And if we select these, Lightroom is going to interpret the colors differently in our image, and you'll see them represented differently on the screen. Now, this is important because most people, when you're editing in Lightroom, would recommend that you set the profile first because it's going to dramatically affect how the image looks. So, for example, this one that we just cycled through, here's our stock Adobe Color. If I go to Adobe Vivid, you can see all of a sudden it almost looks like a fully edited image because it's just popped things perfectly out. We've got nice contrast going on, nice saturation, very different look. Now, what a lot of people don't realize with the newer versions of Lightroom, because they've kind of hidden this feature, is you can actually select your camera's original profiles as well. If we go down here where it says Browse, we click there, you'll see that we have Adobe Raw, the top seven, and then hidden down here where we have to scroll or minimize this window, we've got our camera matching profiles, which will depend on the type of camera that you're using and whether or not you are using and editing a raw photo inside of Lightroom. So because this photo was shot on a Canon 5D Mark III, we have five profiles to choose from, Faithful, Landscape, Neutral, Portrait, and Standard. And the reason that this is important and powerful is that sometimes you'll find that an edit is dramatically easier if you're using a different profile. So for example, if we compare, here's our Adobe Color Stock, and here is Canon's standard profile. So going back and forth between the two, you can see that there is a subtle but significant difference in the way that the colors come across. One has slightly more contrast than the other, one is slightly more saturated than the other, and this can make a big difference in your final edit. So let me go over to another example here. This is the stock Adobe Color. Now if we hop over here, we can put on, say, Adobe Vivid big massive change already and we haven't adjusted any of the other editing settings in Lightroom. Likewise, if we go to Canon's Faithful or Canon's Standard, you can see there's a big difference in the saturation of her hair here. So in the standard profile on Canon, we have much more saturated reds going on. I would say that on the whole, the skin tones seem to be better, and the greens are also radically different, which you can see especially in this image. So this one has Adobe Color as its profile, and then if I go to this virtual copy and select Canon's standard, you'll see a massive difference in the way that the greens are interpreted. In the Adobe profile, they're kind of more yucky, to be honest. They're more saturated. They're definitely more green, and they're brighter. Whereas in the Canon version, the greens are warmer, more towards an orangey red, right? And if we go to neutral or towards faithful, you'll see that it exaggerates that even more big, massive difference, and that's totally going to impact the way that your images feel when you actually edit them. That's the camera profiles, and I'd really recommend taking a look at these before you start editing your next session. Just go through and see which one of these profiles gets your images the closest to where you'd like them to be, which represents your images the best, because once you get that dialed in, you're going to have a far easier time going through the rest of Lightroom, and you'll be able to get more out of your images overall. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you in understanding the camera profile section of the develop module in side of Lightroom and just gives you more options, more tools when it comes to getting that perfect edit. If it was, please hit that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe for more great content and tutorials and leave me a comment below. Are you planning on using this? Is this going to be helpful for you? I'd love to hear about it. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.